Hello all, this is D Swank, and I am in Star Drive 2. And a DLC for the game came out fairly recently. Uh, in fact, it may have come out this evening because I just noticed it with the update patch that came out. And I went ahead and grabbed it. It's $5. Um, it's a shipyard. So let me go ahead just get a game going. And each faction gets 13 new ships. And this is going to be a very short little video, maybe a few minutes. But I'm going to be taking a look at them. Uh, now, I think part of this may be because things like Stellaris and some other games have come out that have some more interesting features and they're trying to get their game competitive. Or it could be just that this was something they had planned and things happened. But we have our Corvette, Frigate, and Cruiser that were the standard here. And then down here we have the uh, Reiter Corvette. And you notice right here it says hull bonus durable. When this ship takes a hit in any quadrant, armor plate will always take damage first. Ship cost uh, plus 25%. Uh, heavy cannon mount. Heavy cannon weapons that are six tiles or larger gain plus 50% damage when mounted to this hull. Ship cost plus 15%. So these are bonuses that the, the normal frigates, cruisers, battleship, titan, don't get and we have battleship titan probably some carrier that looks like a carrier but I haven't unlocked any of them so um, we've got the corvette we've got the frigate that we already looked at another frigate external fighter mount this hull is auto equipped with a heavy fighter bay that takes no internal slots Ship cost plus five percent. So I don't know if that means this ship already has a fighter bay on it. That's what it sounds like to me. So, and then we have another frigate. Uh, fixed cannon mounts on this hull gain fifty percent rate of fire. Ship has a twenty-five percent turn rate. Um, another frigate. This one is for heavy beam weapons. Uh, so beam weapons deal double damage. Um, now this is a cruiser. Point defender. Uh, point defense weapons mounted on the hull deal double damage and have 50% increased range. Ship cost 15% more. Uh, uh, armored wings. This is another cruiser. Uh, flank plating on this hull uh, protects the engine section from all but the most direct hits. Ship cost 15% more. Uh, blockade runner. Uh, ship has 30% engine performance and cost more. Now all of these are probably going to be ship it does better increases stuff yada yada yada. Now uh, let me actually quit the main menu because I can at least show off any of the Titan variations fairly easily. Um, Continue, uh, da, 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 back, uh, customize, that's what I wanted. Page two, uh, Titan Quest, I need four points. So let's pull, uh, actually leave that one, pull that, page two, grab Titan Quest, continue, continue, begin because that just unlocks titans for me at the beginning and I can take a look and see if there are titan up new ships. Only thing I will not be able to look at is new battleships. But this will let us through uh, deduction point out which ones are battleship variant which is that one ship right here because I believe that was no these three sorry this one, this one, and this one are battleship variants. These are Titan variants, and good lord, that sucker's huge. Uh, all armor panels installed on the ship gain plus 50% hit points. Ship cost 15% more. Okay. And 
Whole bonus impregnable. This hull has a 30% chance to simply shrug off hull damage that is less than a thousand hit points. Ship cost 15% more. So, and that's the normal Titan. These suckers are enormous. They look so much more intimidating, just in scale. Citadel and Bismarck Titans. Okay, so that's pretty much what that new DLC gives you is um, new ships to play around with so uh, yeah if you want more ships more variety at your ships that you can mess around with uh, go ahead download the uh, shipyard or buy the shipyard it's five dollars on Steam and uh, I'm not sure it's worth the five dollars but it's very interesting um, and they had some talk about some turreted weapons and things like that, but I think that was just the bonuses applied to the different weapons. Um, the patch notes didn't make that particularly clear to me. So, um, with that, I will leave this here, and I will see you next time. Until then, bye bye